Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Here to do a new problem for the 2015 Go Math Teacher Workshop series. We're going to look at a, a problem from the CBEST Mathematics Teacher Certification Practice Test for teachers in California. This is a nice problem for elementary school teachers to review some of the core math and, and we're going to talk about front end estimation with this one right here. So it's a nice problem to look at. First I'm going to start by reading it over. So here we go. Number 12. The Mills Library has how do I say this? 1,007,199 books. The Springsville Library has 907,082 books. And always take your time, slow down, go back and read those over if you struggle a little bit. I'll continue. Which of the following is the best estimate of how many more books the Mills Library has than the Springvale Library has? All right, so let's, uh, what does this mean here? More. Well, more involves subtraction. So we got some amount that the Mills has. There's my Mills library. And whatever that is, I'm going to subtract whatever the spring has. But the thing is, it's a sub definitely a subtraction problem. We want to know the difference between those two. The Mills less the spring. What's the difference between? That's going to tell us how much more the Mills has than the Springsvale library has. Okay, so we have a subtraction problem there, and it's clued in by this keyword, how many more. But then we also have this other math concept here, estimate. An estimate is key because we're going to do something called front-end estimation. So let's take a closer look at these numbers and apply front-end estimation. Now that I know I'm going to be subtracting 1,007,199 books from 907,082 books. To estimate it, we, we look at the first digit in both these numbers. Now the first digit in this number is in the millions place. So we're going to round all these values to the closest millions. So I look to the number before the 1, and I ask, is it greater than, greater than or equal to 5? Because if it is, if it's greater than 5, I would round this up to 2 million books. If it's less than 5, it gets rounded down. Now 0, the last time I checked, was less than 5. So all these values get rounded down. And this becomes an, approx an estimation on this one would be approximately 1 million books in the Mills Library. Now we go to this one right here, the second one. 900,000, and I go to the 10,000s place, and I ask myself, is that 0, the next digit, Greater than or equal to 5, again, it's, it's less, so everything gets rounded down to uh, 900,000. So now we have the mills less our uh, Springvale library books, and we do that subtraction problem, and I think you know everyone's pretty cool on this one. You get to that final step, and, and we get our 100,000 as a difference? The answer here is A. Now this is a problem involving front-end estimation. It's involving maybe working with numbers and being able to read the numbers out loud and maybe involving you know place value. I also think you know you have uh, number sense word problem clues like you're involving. This problem also involves you know uh, subtraction and being able to look at that language clue and know that the operation involved when you're doing when you're asked how many more books or how many more of something involves some sort of subtraction. So we have language clues in word number sense word problems. We have place value and reading large numbers, and then we have front end estimation, approximating large numbers. All that's in this problem, and you should study all those things so that when you see those things on harder problems or in different problems, you'll be able to answer them accurately and uh, a little faster than normal. Okay. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. Th again, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.